These lessons that I share with you today were the lessons that led me to my path to success. Everyone in this room is gonna to have to face a bully some point in their life. People would tell you what they think about you. They're gonna pass their narratives, their beliefs. You're gonna to have to work hard every single day to build the best version of yourself that you can rely on when the times get tough. And one day you're gonna to have to get out there and you're gonna to have to face that world and with it, all the bullies in it. What is that purpose? That one thing that you love and wanna to give to the world, that one special gift that sets you apart from everybody else. You need to develop that gift, that massive thing, a contribution, because guys, the world needs you. We need it. What do you wanna leave behind? What is your legacy? The lessons that I'm about to share with you today is not bound by color, race, or gender. No, our struggles in this world are alike. And how we overcome them, building resilience, facing the struggles, developing ourselves in the world around us, it pertains to us all. I came from very humble beginnings. I was a child born in war. I lost my country and my freedoms when I was only a few months old. My parents and I, we escaped Vietnam on a wooden fishing boat. We were left for dead for nearly 30 days. We had to endure the refugee camps for over a year. And eventually, when I made it to America, we were spit on, flicked off, and called by many racist names. I was a child raised around hate, racism. And eventually I went on to serve the United States Army with the Special Forces Green Berets. If you guys don't know what the Special Forces Green Berets are, they're elite warriors within special operations. After my time in the military, my wife and I, we entrepreneured to stand up at two successful companies, making us financially successful. I've been on television, and I'm one of the faces that made it on the cover of Call of Duty. Guys, my path, my path was not easy, but the lessons that I learned during my path to success, man, it can be applied by you all. I wanna talk about technology. Okay, because I see a lot of you guys on cell phones and iPads, and this, technology world we live in, it's so important that you regulate the amount of time that you spend in front of social media, cell phones, electronics, television. Guys, I know it's hard, but there has been studies shown that using social media and electronics had led to depression. Depression's so serious that peers your age group are taking their own lives. Depression's so serious that parents are sending their children away to detox from these electronic devices. Long-term and daily use of electronics will in time change the chemistry in your brain. So it's really important, guys, that you balance the amount of time you spend in front of electronics with going outside and being in nature. When I was in um, junior high school, my, so from seventh grade to ninth grade, my mother was roughly going through uh, beauty school. And at that point, she was learning how to mix hair chemicals to make your hair curl like a perm. So guess who became her guinea pig? Guys, there were only four Asians in my junior high, but there was only one guy with a perm. And I tell you, 
In North Carolina, have you guys ever been to North Carolina? It gets really hot and humid and dry. So in the summer months, my perm will curl up really tight and it'll dry and frizzle out. And somehow through the combination of being on the East Coast and North Carolina being hot and humid, somehow through all those elements, I ended up with an Asian fro. <laughs> guys, I was picked on. I was picked on so bad. It got so bad that my grades got affected. So could you imagine what I was thinking when I was in ninth grade about to go to high school? I was petrified. I mean, the bullies, they can drive. They're bigger. They're meaner, uglier. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe that bullying is still happening today. The same hate that I had to endure when I was your age, man, it's the same struggles you guys are going through right now. Any one of you guys sitting in here today that's being bullied, harassed, picked on, I'm sorry. I know how hard that is. But I want you to know this. I want you to know that bullying, harassment, hate, these are all acts of separation. See, the thing is this. In life, we're going to have to face bullies. Everyone in this room is going to have to face a bully some point in their life. And they can come in the form of your loved ones, your friends, strangers. And one day you're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to face that world and with it all the bullies in it. So I want to arm yourself with something today. And I want you to know this. And I want you to carry on for the rest of your life. The hate that others give you, man, it doesn't have to be yours. The belief that you place on yourself at this young of age will carry on with you for the rest of your lives. So it's important. It's important that you understand how to deal with these bullies. I don't know about you, but back when I was your age, man, I had everyone telling me what I should do and who I should be from my peers, my peers' parents, my parents, my neighbors, my aunt, my cousins, strangers, all telling me what I should do and who I should be. So this leads me to my first rule to success. To know yourself, to know thyself like the Bible says. But in order to know yourself, man, you're gonna to have to trust in yourself. And trust is not given. So you're gonna to have to work. You're gonna to have to work hard every single day to build the best version of yourself that you can rely on when the times get tough. And guys, the times will get tough. In life, people will tell you what they think about you. They're going to pass their narratives, their beliefs. And sometimes these judgment, it's not all that nice. From my junior high school years, all the way to my senior year in high school, I was picked on, separated, harassed, all because I looked different. They would write racist names on my wall locker and desk. In life, there will be many, many more people that will write hateful things about you. They're going to pass their judgment and their belief. Therefore, you should know yourself. In a world that's so populated with impossible, where people say, you can't do this. You're not good enough. You won't make it. What if? Guys, what if you tried at that impossible and actually made it? 
Think of the person that you will become by facing the difficult. Think of all the lives that you can help and the impact that you can make on this world. But you can only do that if you know yourself. In high school, it's really important to start developing long-term goals. Start thinking about long-term goals. Prioritize your personal time to focusing on a plan to achieving these goals. Understand that long-term goals, man, they could take months or years to even achieve. So have patience. Know that motivation will get you started, but it's discipline that will get you there. So develop discipline and have patience for the process. Don't be in such a rush. You guys have time. Just prioritize your time and do things with a high standard. How you do something is how you do everything. Guys, how you do something is how you do everything. So you make sure you do the small things right. By show of hands in here, who actually keeps their room clean and make their beds on a daily basis? <laughs> okay, so look, I'm here today to share with you some of the lessons that I learned during my path to success. And guys, I want you to have these lessons and if you apply it to your life, I promise you, I promise you, you will get to where you need to be. When you're standing in this messy room with an unmade bed, it's not if you're right or wrong. No. It's not if it's right or wrong, if that room is dirty and that bed is not made. That's not right or wrong. It's when you're standing in that room, is it right or wrong in your eyes? What is your standard that you wish to live by? Look, if you ever want to be anything great, if you ever want to be successful and make a difference in this world, and then it starts with aligning yourself with the standards that will get you there. Be open-minded. Be respectful to new things. If it gives you a new insight and changes your belief, don't be afraid to take on new perspectives. Guys, this is how we grow. On the special forces, we are highly trained in unconventional warfare. This type of warfare allows for a small, highly trained element to win against a superior military force. And this is done through intelligence gathering, mission planning, actions on. During the global war on terrorism, our country leaned heavily on the special forces and the A-teams deployed throughout the world to fight terrorism to protect our country. The Special Forces motto is de oppressa libraire. Translated in Latin, it means to free the oppressed. So this means that the military would send the A-teams to remote locations around the world to fight for the defenseless and to free the oppressed and the enslaved. And the only way that we could have done this is so we had to live around the world, around new people and culture. To find the bad guys, we had to be respectful to the local people, be open-minded and take on new perspectives and beliefs. So in life, be open-minded and know the world. Guys, the world's your teacher. Guys, the next few years will come at you fast. So it's important to start thinking about your life. What do you want to do with your future? Who, who do you want to be? And how are you going to get there? 
after school, guys, it's up to you. It's up to you to continue to develop, learn and grow. Align yourself with values and a code to live by. A code that encompasses virtues of kindness, compassion, duty. What are the values that you want to give to this world? What do you want to leave behind? What is your legacy? Guys, I'm talking about purpose. What's that one thing that you love, that you're really good at, you want to give to the world? That's your superpower. What is it? What is that purpose? And you know, guys, if you haven't found it, it's okay. Continue to look. But for those who have found it, that one thing that you love and want to give to the world, that one special gift that sets you apart from everybody else, you need to develop that gift. That, that massive thing, a contribution, develop it. Because guys, the world needs you. We need it. One last lesson. There is no growth in the comfort zone. There's no growth by being comfortable. When I was a child in elementary school, all the way to my senior year in high school, there were groups and there were cliques. You know, you had the popular group, you had the not popular group. You had the smart group, not smart group, right? You had your jocks. All of them, all of them comfortable within their own individual group. The thing about this is in life, man, you're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to face the uncomfortable. And you're going to have to get out there. You're going to have to communicate and work with people that's outside your group. So I have a homework assignment for you. The thing is this, if you ever want to be successful, you ever want to be great, man, you have to step outside your comfort zone. So your homework is this, for the next seven days, can you give it a week? For the next seven days, I want you to step outside your comfort zone. I want you to go up to somebody that you normally don't talk to introduce yourself and just be kind. And I tell you this, if you're kind, you're going to come to realize that, man, we're all the same. And the world needs it. These lessons that I share with you today were the lessons that led me to my path to success and allow me to grow as a human being. Guys, I was shy. I was scared of the world, but I faced it. And these lessons that I gave you today, if you take some of these lessons applied to your life, I promise you, I promise you that you will get there. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you. Thanks, everybody.